Hi everyone, this is Bama from Bama's Crochet Creations and today what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you just the basic corner to corner um, method. I'm going to be using the standard uh, 633 method to make it easy. There's a lot of beginners on here or even people that are um, uh, very experienced crocheters who are having a difficult time with the concept of corner to corner and how it works. Um, so what I'm going to do for today is we're going to do just the basic one. All right, so we start with our uh, chain for the beginning and then we're going to crochet, I'm sorry, uh, slip stitch six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess it's a chain of six. And to do the six, three, three method, we're going to yarn over and in the fourth chain from the hook, so one, two, three, four, we're actually going to do a double crochet. The next chain, we're going to do another double crochet. And then the last chain, we're going to do another double crochet. Now this is called the standard um, corner to corner to corner uh, stitch in the way of variations. So what we have here is we have the chain at the beginning, and then we have three double crochets. Now this is classified as one block. So when you look at my pattern, I'm just going to show you a quick one here. The pattern actually shows that we need to focus this in here a little bit, sorry. We actually need, oh, you know what, I think I have a written one here. Get this out of the way. All right, so it's actually showing us here that I need to do one block with the gray. Now I'm using pink for my example, but that's okay. And so the next one I would do two, row two would be two blocks, row three would be three blocks. We're increasing one block for every row that we're going until we get to the dreaded decreasing or reducing. Okay, so for right now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how basically to increase same colors as we go along just to make things a little bit easier. So what we've done is we've created our first block, which has the chain three right from there and then the three double crochets. So it actually looks like four stitches. Okay, so then we're going to go to we need to start row two. So to start row two, we start first with the increase which is a chain six, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we need to do again, as we did here, the fourth chain from the hook, we're gonna do a double crochet. We're gonna do another double crochet in the one next to that one. And then we're gonna do another do double crochet in the last one that um, we started with that chain six. All right, so now we have two blocks, but they don't really look like they're joining together, right? They're, that they're working together. So part of the problem with um, that I've, I've been finding with the members that have contacted me is that they don't understand how to join this. So the easiest way to do it is, once you have your first one here, just flip it upwards. It's that easy. I know some people do it you know, underneath and that's okay too, it doesn't matter. I find it blends nice and easily if you do it this way. Um, choose your preference, just be consistent, that's all. So now what we need to do is we need to join this. So we need to slip stitch this into here, and there you go. So now because blocks of corner to corner um, projects rather are um, that stitches sideways, this one's up and down. So the next one will go up and down because it joins this one, and this one will be sideways. So we need to complete the second stitch or block of stitches because we're doing it this way and this is where the chain three comes in now there are different variations I am sticking to the standard one for now just to make things a little bit easier so what I'm going to do now is I've chained three and now I need to put three double crochets in this holy spot right here where that chain was all right so we're going to do uh, like I said three double crochets Now, when I get to the end one, instead of doing mine right in that loop, I just do it in here for a little uh, security, just to close up that hole a little bit, choose your preference. I was actually taught to do it in here, and then I prefer to do it in here just to close that off. So now we started the project, and look at that. We've got two blocks of stitches. So we've done row one, and then row two has two. So now we're gonna do row three. And this is where we get to the chain six portion of this again. So on the increase, this is where you just do the chain six, okay? So three, four, five, six. <clears throat> All right. 
and then we're going to again in the fourth chain from the hook which leaves which means the last three one two three one two three four we're actually going to do a double crochet another double crochet and one more double crochet all right now again see it looks wonky it doesn't look right it looks kind of dumb <laughs> So we flip the whole project over. So now you can't just do the one because they're attached. And then we're going to slip stitch into the next one beside it. And look at that. Now we have a stitch that goes up and down, a stitch that I'm going to pull it apart so you can see it here. Hang on a second. So you can see that it's a sideways stitch. Okay, goes sideways. And then we've got a one that goes up and down. All right. So we're going to complete the next block which is a chain three format for this project. We're going to do three double crochets. All right, and this time I just did it in there, not a huge issue, um, instead of doing it down there just to show you. All right, so then we have another one again. Now this one went sideways, this one goes up and down. So because you're doing it this way, every other stitch is going to be up and down, which makes it for that nice uniformed um, look. All right, then we're going to join it again into this this hole right here. I'm trying to see the hole right there. All right, we're going to slip stitch in there. And then we're going to chain three like it's the beginning of a block. And then we're going to do three double crochets into that project. All right. Things getting tangled up here. Hang on one second. There we go. All right. So now look at that. We have one row one, row two, row three. All right. So let's do this one. We're just going to go right across. I'm just going to say it out loud as I do it. So I'm going to chain six, five, six, and then we're going to do a double crochet, a double crochet. And a, oops, and a, oops, did a half double there, there I go, and a double. So then, see, I was going to just flip it and not even say anything. So I'm just going to flip it upwards, join that block into the next project because that's part of row four. Now the nice thing is, is when you're looking at this project, you just did the beginning of row four, the increase. So you have three on this side and you have four on this side. By the time you're done, you're going to have four here, four here, and four across here. All right, so let's get on with this row. Oh, my yarn's not getting tangled up here. There we go. Chain three. Okay, do you have a double crochet? A double crochet and another double crochet. I'm going to slip stitch to join, chain three, three double crochets. There we go, we have three double crochets. All right, so we've got three blocks done, and then we're going to do the final block for row four, and that is chain three, a double crochet, a double crochet and a double crochet. So here's what we got. We have done four rows and we have one, two, three, four blocks, one, two, three, four blocks, and four. So if you're doing it correctly, you should have basically, you can look at it as a upside down triangle, but you have four, four, and four. You can look at it as an L shape, four, four, and four. And this way, you know you're doing it right. Okay, this continues until you get to where you need to decrease. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to show you how to decrease. All right. So in the pattern that I was going to select to do today, it actually said, now I'm, I'm on the left hand side of the project. Okay, that's the left hand side. But it said after row five to decrease on the left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do row five because when it says to do it, you need to have five on the five blocks. 
on there, okay? So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to complete the five uh, blocks that we require here, all right? So rather than just going to dead time, I'm just going to actually, again, call them out as, I say, as I'm doing them. So I've done the uh, first block. I'm going to flip my project upwards, join it with a slip stitch, and then continue with another block. Now again, we start with a chain three. We're going to do three double crochets. All right. And then again, we start at the first one, second one. We're now doing the third block because again it said to reduce after or reduce project on the left. It didn't say after row five, it just said uh, it was written after row five. I'm going to do this. Oops. One, two, three. All right, because my, my block is going to be a five inch block, okay, or five inch uh, wide rectangle. So we need one more. Now we need to join this one to make sure we have five blocks on there. Now, it says to reduce on <clears throat> the left, all right? So basically, this is how my project looks. And it says reduce on the left. So my project is going to be five wide and then seven up. All right, as a five by seven project. So what happens is, how do I reduce on the left if, if I'm up on the right where it says to reduce? So what you do in this case is because you still need to increase here because it's gonna be seven rows, what we're gonna do is we're going to continue to increase on this side. Okay, we have six, so we're going to do the first block as part of the increase because we're still increasing on the right at this point okay for the height and then we're going to do the blocks that we require to get to the left but not making it oops I apologize I think I missed something there I did um, but not increasing or making it wider than five at the bottom okay Let's go into here. All right. So we need to again continue to the end. Three double crochets. Again, we're going to slip stitch to join. Now, if I miss a, um, a chain or something in here, I apologize. I'm not used to doing the standard. Uh, corner to corner, so I'm used to putting a little bit less uh, stitches uh, there, so I apologize in advance, but it's not going to affect the blocks here right now. And then we're going to attach the last one here, and we need one more. Now, because we're now at the bottom left, all right, and we've created one, two, three, four, five, six, but here we have one, two, three, four, five. Now, if I continue this to the end, it's gonna to be too wide. So when they say to reduce on the left, here is where your re reducing occurs. You don't finish the block here. Your reduction starts right here. So here's what we're gonna do is we're right here. And like I said, normally we would slip stitch to join here which is still okay to do because we want them to join. But we're not going to do the chain three right here and then make another block. The slip stitch is where it ends on the reducing row. So again, because I was up here after row five, it says reduce on the left because depending on whether your project is an even numbered project or an odd number project, that line or row or full 120 by 120 where you're reducing at both ends, one, two, three, four, five, six, this is gonna be seven high. We continue to, to add here. We're not going to here. So I've joined that with the slip stitch. And then what you do is you rotate the project like you're flipping a book. That's the best way for me to describe it. You're flipping, I'm sorry, you're flipping the page in a book. So just flip it this way 
All right. And then now I actually move this so that's the yarn is behind it. That's just my preference. You can leave it where it was. Um, and then I slip stitch into this. Okay, the first double crochet, I slip stitch in there. I slip stitch in the next one. And I slip stitch in the last one. Okay, now if I take the project and put it this way, look at that, you started your reduction row, or you've started to maintain now on the left hand side. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go across here and I'm, I still need to add because I want this project to be five by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I still need to increase here. But my pattern says to decrease, okay, or reduce at row seven, okay? So right now I have one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to continue this project because now we started the maintaining row on the left. And this is where you chain three because you're just doing another block to start this one off. All right. And again, there you go. It's part of your it's part of your maintaining row. That'll flatten out as, as you start putting stitches in there. Um, then we're going to slip stitch. We're going to chain three. Add another. All right. So we have the other block made. We have one, two. So we need to get up here. We're going to add another chain three. Oops, sorry, three half double crochets. There we go. And then we're going to slip stitch and join it there. We're going to chain three. And we're going to slip stitch. I'm sorry, we're going to do three double crochets in there. All right, we've done that. So look at that, it's getting to be the square. We still maintain the line. Oops, sorry about that. Let me get that in the screen. All right, so here we are, we're near the top. All right, and we've maintained this row here. This is the flat edge. And we need to go here, but we still need to put one up here. Again, my project is gonna be five by seven. So we're increasing the height. We're not increasing the width, all right? So we need to, because we had, oops, one, two, three, four, five, six. We need to add one more here. And we're going to do a chain three, a double crochet, another double crochet, and the last one, which I do in there. All right. So now we've got five here, five here, because that goes with the width here. And then we need seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look at that. So now what we're doing, okay, now our product is a little lopsided because technically this is the way it goes. So what we need to do now is we need to maintain up here. We need to make this line, well, I guess that line there is good. We need to make this line go across here. So this is where we start reducing, okay, at both ends. So to do this at the top, what we need to do is basically flip the project. What do we do, people? We flip it like a page, nice and easy. All right, now I do a chain one here. Some don't, that's okay. Then I do a slip stitch in the first one, a slip stitch in the second one, and a slip stitch in that one there. Now you've got the flat edge. So what we need to do now is we're not increasing anywhere. We're maintaining both lines, this one here and this one here until it gets to the point. Okay. So we're going to do one, two, three, because we're starting a block, okay, not an increase. All right, and then we're going to do another double, oops, another double crochet, and another double crochet. Let's just make sure that's right. All right, we've got that there. Okay, and then we join this with a slip stitch, and then, you know what, let's take a look at it right now. All right. So, here we go. Oh, did I put one too many in there? No, I did. I just have very loose. Sorry about that. So, what we have right now is we have five across, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And look at that. We're maintaining the line here, and we're maintaining the line here. So, anytime you get to the edge 
okay, of the of the project. This is where you're going to be doing that uh, slip stitch along the edge to basically decrease as you're going along. Okay, so I'm going to chain three. We're going to do three double crochets. We're going to join again with a slip stitch. Three double crochets. And three double crochets. Let's take a look at two. We need three. We're going to slip stitch again. Now we're not quite at the edge yet or at the end, so we need to do one more in here. One, two, three. All right. So again, we're at the edge of the project where we need to maintain, so I'm going to slip stitch in there. And then we're going to flip the project like the page. It may sound redundant, I apologize. It's just the best way for me to, to describe it. And instead of flipping my this over again, I'm just gonna actually do it from here. And we're gonna do a slip stitch, and we're gonna do a slip stitch, a slip stitch, and there you go. Alright. So again, we've reduced that line. Okay, now we have four here, we have two here, so we're working our way to close the project. Alright, so let's go back to this. We're going to do one, two, three, because we're starting a block. Again, not increasing. We're going to do three double crochets and then join that block to that. And there we go. Alright, and then we're going to do three. Oh, sorry, chain three and then three double crochets inside the chain three space. All right. And then we're going to do another one. One, two, three. Three double crochets. And again, now we need to join this one. And again, we're closing that off at the top. All right, so let's keep it consistent as much as possible. This is our project and it's slowly closing up. Okay, so now what we need to do is okay, that's where I joined it. That's so where we flip the book. We're going to do a slip stitch in there, slip stitch in there slip stitch in there. Now a lot of people, um, I think on the last row that I did it, I purposely did four in there. I should have mentioned that um, because some people do a slip stitch in here as well. Um, I don't um, because I find with the, with the chain three only that it's just my preference. I like it without it um, being too like loose. All right, so we're going to do one more block here. So chain three. And then three double crochets. Now we need to make one more. So we slip stitch in there, chain three, three double crochets. All right. And here again, we're going to join this right here. All right. And we're going to look at that. We're almost completely done our little block. So we're at the edge here and again we flip the book, flip the page. Why do we say book? I don't know. We're going to slip stitch in there, slip stitch in there, slip stitch in there. Now we just need one block left. Look at that. One block. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. And the fifth one will actually close it off. All right, so we're at the top. We just do a regular block like we normally would. We do the chain three and then three double crochets. I apologize, I'm losing my uh, tent. There we go. All right, so we've done that block and then we attach it here. Our project is complete. So what I normally do is again, flip it like a book and then just slip stitch in the last three or four, whichever you prefer. And then there you go. Your project is complete. 
I wanted a five by seven project. I have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that is perfect. Now, um, if you can tell, you can tell you've got the the pattern that you want with the half double. I'm sorry, with the um, corner to corner. Everything's going, you know, diagonal, horizontal, or sorry. Vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, they're all crisscrossing. So that's done all right. Um, the lines even out as time goes. I have a problem with my tension. I have a, a, a an injury to my left hand, so I tend to pull things sometimes. So um, you'll get the feel for what works for you. This is how I do it. And um, hopefully that works. All right. So the other thing that I wanted to mention is when I make my patterns, if you purchased a pattern from me, when you look at the pattern, let me see if I can get this in focus or not. Obviously not. So what happens is, is that in the patterns, um, my patterns are always read from left to right, every single line. So when you look at a pattern and it says you have to, for instance, in this one here, it says to, um, the first color will be gray and the next two blocks will be red, the next three blocks will be gray. Um, you're always going from left to right, okay? The pattern is written like, it's like reading a book again, left to right, left to right, left to right. The reason I do it that way is because what happens is, is when you flip your project, you're now joining on this side. So when you've, you've read it from left to right here, so if you were doing row two, left to right, boom, boom, when you flip, flip row three, it reads from left to right. It takes into account that you flipped the work to make everything join. All right, so you're, as long as you keep reading it from left to right, flip your work, read it from left to right, the pattern is written so that it alternates instead of, so you're not reading it, the first line goes left to right and the second line goes right to left. Okay, it takes into account that you've flipped your project. So where row two ended here, Row three starts here, but you've flipped it. So now row three is right here. All right, now you do row three this way. Row four is here, you flip it. Now you're doing row four this way. So it's always left to right, left to right, okay? That's one of the, um, uh, it's only been a couple of members that have done it that way, but they've purchased patterns that were printed that way. I just find it easier for me, read it from the book, left to right, to how we were taught to read. Um, I apologize, most of us. Um, in the English language. So um, this is what works. Uh, please give this a try. I hope this video is helpful for some of you. Um, you've been struggling with, with some things. So um, uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me, PM me through through the, this page or through my Facebook page, which is listed below. This has been Bama from Bama's Crochet Creations. Thanks for watching. Bye.